How's it going guys? We have a challenging question for mixed pathology slash internal medicine. Very similar questions show up on the NBME exam. So before we get started, please subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it. Give the video a like. I really appreciate it. Find me on Instagram at melman underscore medical, M-E-H-L-M-A-N underscore medical. Links down below. Find me on Telegram. Links to the Telegram group and channel down below and I'll start the clip. Previously healthy 65-year-old man, two-month history of gross hematuria, fatigue, and fever. He's lost five pounds during this time. Laboratory studies show Hemoglobin elevated 18.5 grams per deciliter should be 13 to 17.5 in males and non-menstruating women, 12 to 17.5 in menstruating women. Serum calcium elevated 12.4 milligrams per deciliter should be 8.4 to 10.2. Serum phosphate low 1.8 milligrams per deciliter should be 2.5 to 4.5. Question wants to know most likely diagnosis. So let's just whip through the answer choices here. We'll go backwards. Choice C, prostatic metastasis, wrong fucking answer. So it is exceedingly high yield, of course, to know that METs, not just limited to prostate, can cause hypercalcemia, okay? But you're not gonna get low phosphate. So this is an important detail here, okay? You're just simply not gonna have low phosphate in the setting of metastases. Instantaneously, wrong fucking answer. Choice D, multiple myeloma, wrong answer. So similar to METS, you're not gonna have low phosphate, obviously hypercalcemia, very high yield for multiple myeloma. You're also not gonna have hematuria, multiple myeloma causes nephrotic syndrome. You need to know it's the most common cause of renal amyloidosis. Amyloidosis is proteins depositing where they shouldn't be depositing. So in multiple myeloma, the plasma B cells are gonna be secreting immunoglobulin light chains, which are proteins, and they're gonna be depositing the renal parenchyma, causes renal amyloidosis. They show up in the urine, Benz Jones proanuria. You get high ESR, you can get uh, pepper pot skull, lytic lesions, you get back pain. Wrong fucking answer. Choice C, granulomatosa polyangiitis, new fancy way of saying Wegener. Wrong answer. So this is going to be hematuria plus hemoptysis plus head-itis, colloquially, for any issue with the head. Otitis, sinusitis, mastoiditis, nasal septal perforation, C, anca positive, antiprotonase 3 positive. Wrong fucking answer. Choice B, clear cell carcinoma is the correct answer. Okay, so I said it's a challenging question. This is synonymous with renal cell carcinoma in the USMLA. It's the most common variant of renal cell carcinoma. Now, that might sound weird if you haven't heard of it before, but I can tell you this is exceedingly high yield. And sometimes, for step one especially, they'll just show you a histo slide with large clear cells. You have no idea what you're fucking looking at. And they just tell you it's a smoker who has hematuria. And that's just renal cell carcinoma, okay, clear cell carcinoma. Now you say, but wait, I don't get it. Why is there high calcium, low phosphate, and high hemoglobin? Okay, well, your factoid here is that squamous cell carcinoma in the lung is not the only cancer that secretes uh, perineoplastic PTHRP. Holy shit, okay? So yes, renal cell carcinoma secretes PTHRP. Mind-blowing, all right? And it also can secrete EPO, so polycythemia, and we have high calcium, low phosphate. And hematuria, clearly, okay? So, I mean, even if you did think that this is squamous cell carcinoma lung, due to some form of ambiguity, clearly you're not going to get hematuria, okay, with squamous cell carcinoma the lung. So this is high yield for renal cell carcinoma. They do this. They just say, they show you the, the histo of the large clear cells, and they just say it's a dude who has polycythemia and hypercalcemia, and he's got hematuria. And it's just an easy question, just renal cell carcinoma. These are B symptoms, by the way. Okay, so fever, night sweats, weight loss for any type of malignancy. You know the deal. I'm going to continue to make more content. If you like my stuff, subscribe to my channel. And I appreciate your time. That's it.